Macklin. How are you doing, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I'm only at the road, aren't I? Yes, yes, you and are. Of course, Huey was meant to make his debut on, yes, the, on the undercard. Of course, um, you know, national champion yeah. on, on the GB, all that sort of thing. So I'm managing him now, signed with Frank. And he was going to make his pro debut on the card, but he's. Uh, Licensed yeah. medicals didn't get processed uh, in time, so hopefully in December. Hopefully we'll see you in December. Tell us a little bit hopefully. about yourself then. We, we were very excited to see your debut on this card. What yeah. can we expect when it finally happens? Yeah, I was looking forward to it. Um, yeah, all action, all action, uh, aggressive points. Well, lots of punches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the old style, like Chavez, Roberto Duran, so them, them tour boys. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Uh, Matt, what's uh, what's the sell here? Why, why is he different? Why is he so good? Why, why are you getting behind him? Well, he's, he's from up the road in Coventry, so not far from me. He's um, Irish background as well, so a bit of a connection there. Yeah. Um, and, and he's a good fighter. And lots of people told me when I was renewing my license, I you know, asked a few people who, who would be... Because, you know, when you're away in the pro game many years and you sort of start managing fighters, you do become a little bit... Um, you know, you lose touch a little bit with who's hot coming through, etc. So, uh, once I renewed the license, once I knew I was definitely getting back into it, I kind of had the few people who I knew were still very much immersed in it. I said, you know, send me a list of a few people who you think are good, uh, will be good, pro not just good amateurs, but will make good pros. And um, a few, lots of people sent this kid's name through, a few, and there were a few others, and we're on the track for a few of those. But no, Huey, Huey being local particularly was something that I thought, yeah, that uh, ticked a lot of boxes for me. I like that. Well, Hugh, look, it's unfortunate that you can't make your yeah. debut on Saturday, but the good news is you get to sit back uh, and enjoy the entire card. It's, it's yeah. a good one, right? Yeah, it's good cards. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all of them. Uh, Echo Essamon, Ethan James, good fight, yeah. So I'm looking forward to both and of them. you've sparred with a few of the guys. Yeah, Owen I've Cooper, with, you spar a lot with, don't you? Yeah, I've sparred with Ethan James, sparred with Ben as well. So, yeah, I, like, I know a few of the boys on the card, so, yeah. There's a good bit of a chat there between uh, Ethan James and, and his opponent. That's, that's a, a man here, unbeaten, who's really looking to come and derail Ethan James forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on that. How do you see that going? I'm not sure it's close for <laughs> I think, but, yeah, best looks both of them. Matt, let me just get your thoughts on the on the main event. You are, uh, you know, one of the best minds in boxing right now. What is your read of Liam Davis, Shabazz Masood? Uh, I think there's a feeling around boxing that Masood, you know, the, he's the favourite, even though you, he, the bookies he's not. I think in the sort of quieter corners of discussions, a lot of people I've heard picking Masood. But I think Liam Davis, I make Liam Davis the favourite. I think he's uh, experience. Um, and he can mix it up, he, he, as he said there, yeah, he can punch, but he can box as well. You know, he can box and fight. Um, and I think with the home crowd behind him, you know, he might he, he might have to get off the floor to win, who knows? It, it could be a real barn burner, but I do think that, uh, you know, if someone put a gun to my head and said, said you've got to pick a winner, I'd go with Davies. But, it, but I think it's going to be close.